Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So Donald Trump and his devil spawn received some bad news lately in regard to their legal troubles. Womp womp and thoughts and prayers is all I have to say. Um, so here's the deal. As you all likely know, the Attorney General for the District of Columbia has been investigating Donald Trump's inauguration committee. They say that they mis misused um, funds from that nonprofit, and as this is part of the civil lawsuit filed against the committee and the Trump Organization. I've previously shared with all of you um, testimony given by Ivanka, where they believe that she lied and things of that nature, information that came from Melania's old BFF, um, and the allegations of, are basically that Trump's organization and his facilities overcharged the committee for use of the facilities and that they allegedly used inaugural funds to pay for ridiculous things, things that have nothing to do with the inauguration, like a party and other things and, you know, events for Trump's children. Well, the case was forced into mediation and all parties met on July 14th to see if they could come to some sort of agreement in the matter. Well, that failed to yield any results. And the reason being is that a source with knowledge of this case purportedly told the Daily Beast that prosecutors are adamant that they don't want to settle this thing. They don't want to deal with this out of court. They want to see this case through to its final conclusion. And at the moment, everyone is waiting on a ruling from D.C. Superior Court Judge Jose Lopez because the Attorney General, Carl Racine, believes that they've already made their case. They believe this is pretty rock solid. And so he asked for a summary judgment from the judge. As part of that potential summary judgment, what Racine is asking is that the judge force the Trump Organization to return almost $1.1 million in allegedly misspent funds. And then that money would be awarded to another nonprofit organization. But here's the deal. If for some reason the judge comes back and doesn't rule in their favor and doesn't give them this summary judgment, the AG and prosecutors want to conduct additional depositions of people who are close to Trump and the Trump organization. That includes Alan Weisselberg, who, as we all know, is already in hot water, Don Jr.'s longtime friend, Gentry Beach, and yes, that's a person's name, um, <laughs> Beach apparently served on the finance committee for the inauguration, and according to the AG's office, he is the person who is behind the idea to reserve a block of hotel rooms at the Madison, Washington, D.C. Hotel. Well, apparently, the Trump Organization never paid the bill for that block of rooms. What a shock. <laughs> Trump not paying his bills? I, I, I'm like floored. That never happens. <laughs> anyway, when the hotel sent the bill to collections finally, Rick Gates, who was the campaign chairman or it was a, it was a campaign official of some sort at that time, he contacted the collections company and he told them, no, 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 change the name on the invoice to the uh, inauguration committee and then resubmit it. Well, they did. And what ended up happening is the nonprofit inauguration committee paid the nearly $50,000 bill. Now, as far as the depositions go, the judge would have to make a ruling in regard to those depositions and whether or not they're allowed, because apparently there's a deadline in which the prosecutors were allowed to interview these people, and apparently that time has passed. So they missed their window of opportunity, so the judge would have to grant them special permission to conduct those interviews at this time. I will, of course, keep an eye all on all of this and let you guys know what happens next. But now for some really good news for, well, at least for America, not great news for the Trump family. Um, Trump and his devil spawn were also named in a lawsuit uh, for racketeering, conspiracy, and fraud for promoting the telecommunication multi-level marketing company called ACN. 
The plaintiffs in this case allege that they suffered financial losses after they became independent business owners for this MLM and that they signed up with ACN only because the Trump family was promoting it. They were promoting ACN and said that it was a great opportunity. The plaintiffs also allege that the Trump family endorsed ACN because they were paid to do so, because they were paid millions of dollars. However, they didn't disclose any of that. So in all of the promotional videos, the print advertisement and what have you, they never mentioned, oh, we're paid to promote this. We are being paid to tell you how great this is. So the Trump family and ACN first tried to get this case dismissed, that failed. Then they tried to get the case moved just to arbitration, you know, supposedly to keep it out of the public eye. That failed as well, but then Trump and the, and the company, ACN, appealed that decision. Well, as of this morning, the US Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit upheld that previous decision regarding arbitration and ruled that no, the case should move forward in a court of law. So they won't be able to keep this under wraps. It is going to go to court. They're not going to get to play these games and hide their potential and alleged wrongdoings from the public on this matter. So we will see. I will keep you guys posted, like I said, on the previous matter. I'll keep you posted on this. As always, thank you so much for watching and listening. Take care, guys. I'll talk with you soon.